What's up traders? Mark Bauman, starttrain.com. Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, to keep up with today's news and awesome tips and tricks to make money in this crazy market, whether it's cryptocurrencies or stocks, please click the like button and subscribe button. This is not financial advice, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm just sharing my trades and letting you know some of the decision making behind that. If you watch my previous episodes, as I said, we we're going to bottom out with Bitcoin if it passed that $43,000 mark at around $33,000, touch down to $30,000 briefly, I think $27,000 even at some point, and pop back up. And it seems to have found its base around thirty to $33,000 as predicted. I have to you know, tap a little bit. And then also poor Doji, Dodgy, the Dodgy coin. It actually surprisingly found its base not at $0.11, cents, but at 30 to $0.33. Cents. Now, weird how that's kind of pairing with uh, Bitcoin a little bit. So uh, we also talked about Litecoins and altcoins. Altcoins, again, like I said, they're gonna have their dip. It's a it's a week delayed. I did not think we we're gonna have as big of a dip because I would have sold a lot of mine and then bought back in and I would have made myself a $200,000 extra and say I lost $100,000, but whatever. That's, uh, it is what it is. I'm trying to wipe away my tears. So we are now at a point of where as I said on Monday, we're going to see that pop. Now you're going to see a dip today. It's probably already dipped at this point. I have actually haven't looked in the last hour, but uh, let's check right now. I'm going to go ahead and go to see my favorite altcoin of all, MBX, because that sucker's made me six figures. And it had an all-time low recently of 0 0.005. I bought in at 0 0.000 four, I believe, or three, five. So still at a high, so I can't complain at that, but wow, what a, what a drop. And it's back, popped back up to 0 0.018. I sold off a couple thousand dollars worth. Then I bought back in at 0 0.014. It may drop again to 0 0.012 in that range or lower to 0 0.011 on like one of those little candlestick dips that we like to nibble off of. Uh, but I believe by Wednesday night, if not tomorrow afternoon, we are going to see that sucker pop. And it's going to pop for two days, drop a little bit again, and then pop again. And that's usually the pattern. Now, that doesn't preclude you from selling tomorrow night or tomorrow if you see that go over two cents. I have some sale sales set at, let's go through this now. Let's see where are my sales at. At 0 0.0205, 50,000, 0 0.021, 50,000, 0 0.025, 500,000. That because I believe that might be one of the peaks before it drops again. If it comes back down to 0 0.014, uh, I will buy again, back in with 500,000. If not, I made a great return, and then I have sales all the way up to if it peaks out to 0 0.05. So uh, I recommend you do what you feel, but you have to have a strategy, and my strategy is to sell at those points, sell big portions at certain points. If it goes over 0.05, I'm going to sell even more as it goes up and higher and higher and higher. So I'm going to trickle sale out as it goes higher. And then when it comes back down, I probably trickle buy in once it passes back down to around 0.02. So that's my plan. Now with the other coins, you're going to see similar uh, changes. So let's go over to, uh, let's see, let's check out Bitcoin. That's the most uh, stable. I'm down to only 31,000 in Bitcoin. So basically, I have I about one Bitcoin in this particular platform. And we're back up 37,700. Still dramatically lower from our, what am I down, like ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000? Yeah, but I had about one Bitcoin in around the 50,000-ish mark. Uh, so still down quite a bit, but so like ten, eleven, twelve thousand $12,000 probably on average. So we're going to see that, again, drop further. So you're going to see some pops. And then it's going to drop further. Now, in case it has a run, I'm just, I'm not even going to bother selling it, but I'll sell out some of my MBX. And as Bitcoin dips again, I will buy back into Bitcoin in the hopes to then roll that into MBX. But, sorry, I will buy back into Bitcoin to roll that into the next pop. All right, so <clears throat> let's go over to my TD Ameritrade account. What are we? What's going on with stocks? All right, so that covers our crypto craze. Let's get into stocks now. So on the day I was up $5,000 yesterday, uh, between, or I'm, yeah, $5,000 $5, between yesterday and today. I was up three th two th to $3,000 this morning. There was a big spike in recovery stocks and technology stocks. And see, so I still have a little bit of an earning call and a maintenance call going on. So what I did was 
what I like to call my uh, weekend pop with uh, options where I buy options I know will close uh, and put me into a margin call. But because I know they're going to carry into a positive the following week, I'll let those exercise and ride that up. So that was for uh, NCLH. Uh, and NCLH, I sold out of 100, I bought 400 shares on that close. That's the Norwegian Cruise Lines. And if you look at my charts, you can see that we're popping near the top. So what I'm going to do, this, there could be another pop, but I sold off 100 shares here. I'm going to sell enough, another 100 shares in the morning when it pops up. Hopefully it doesn't pop down. And then we also had CCL, I bought into more cruise lines, and then also CAT. So CCL shows like it could have another peak a little bit higher tomorrow, but then we could see a Thursday and Friday drop since Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday were stronger. You're see a sell-off probably tomorrow or Thursday. And where's Caterpillar? My good old cat, which is my favorite Caterpillar. Oh, it's carried me through all these bad times. Ooh, is Caterpillar losing today? It is. Oh, okay, Caterpillar was strong earlier today. It was only up $100. Uh, it looks like it's having a little bit of a... Uh, volatility, but we should be popping back up here soon, probably by Friday. So uh, I sold out some of my Caterpillar and uh, we'll probably sustain that through the week, but we'll sell out of that probably on Friday, unless there's a pop tomorrow. I uh, will sell off a good chunk of that and then buy back in again. So that's our plan. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please like or subscribe and make sure you get it.